my dear god believing devotee in this lent season our church have given me a lenten reflection from matthew chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 here the verse begins with this believers as salt and light in many contexts bible have described about believers but here it just compels with two things salt and light as we all know salt and light is a very essential thing for our day to day by just adding a pinch of salt gives our food more flavor tastier and even more healthier and by the light will just begin the worry so here in matthew chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 beautifully compare believers with salt and light a verse 13 says that you are the salt of the earth but if the salt loses flavor how shall it be seasoned it is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled under foot by men we do all consume salt so that we we'll all preserve salt in a very good atmosphere very good condition so that an external things will not get mixed up with it right if it is just mix up with an external thing it is good for nothing it loses all its flavor we'll throw it away similarly as a believer we should also preserve ourselves we are there in a the world with full of lots of distractions and sins we should not get trapped into those things we are all there for fulfill our god wills each and every one is our plan for doing god wills so we should focus on what we are there for we should not get distracted by this all these things all these sins we should be preserve ourselves it is not only important that we preserve ourselves it is very much important that we have to preserve our community too we have to strong up our community we do have to have a strong bond in our community so that is how believers are compared with salt let's see how believers are compared with light verses 14 to 16 says about that you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lamp stand and it gives light to all who are in the house let your light shine before men that may see their good works and glorify your father in heaven as i've said you earlier everyone is there for god wills god will lead you to what he wants to do we just want to simply surrender our life to god he have just light up our life he have just light up our life now it's all up to us whether we are going to hide it under a basket or we are going to shine with it now if you are just going to hide it under a basket then it is of you are of no use it is of no use but if you are going to shine it with that our heavenly father will be happy for us it is not it is also a responsibility that we have light up so we have to help up we have to help those who are there in the dark we have to light up those who are there in the dark it is our responsibility we have to help poor we have to help those who are there in the need as we are a christian or we as we are a good believer we do have to help others god of light up us let's light up others so my dear friends from matthew chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 we have clearly it has been clearly said that we have to preserve ourselves for god wills we have light up now it's responsibility to shine so that our heavenly father will be happy for us Let's all pray together in this lens season and welcome Easter. Thank you.